Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com for a kind of cool behind the scenes look into the industry, taking a look at Radical Firearms. When I was down in Texas for the primary arms shoot, which was awesome, ended up getting an invitation to come over and check out Radical Firearms. They're located kind of right there in Houston. So took them up on it and went and checked it out. Getting the full tour, got to check out their production line. And they kind of have two different lines one of them being kind of production guns and all those made kind of assembly line so stuff gets put together here moves over and on down the line getting guns assembled something i thought's really interesting is their machining capacity they actually have a lot of machines and they machine almost everything in house and i guess the way it worked is the last time there was kind of a big run on guns and stuff like that, they're having a really hard time getting gas blocks. And they're like, we should just make these. So they ended up with machines and that grew. Now they pretty much machine everything. So aside from gas blocks, they obviously machine their uppers, their lowers, and same with their handguards. They will get like extrusions in for the handguards or basically the forgings for their lower receivers and throw those things in the machine and crank them out. Their capacity is pretty incredible too, and they definitely have a really high volume of stuff they put out. Something else really cool is some robots. They have this robotic arm that basically puts on their barrel extensions. Does it really fast, does it to the exact torque spec, all the time, every time. And it goes through and yeah, just keeps going through doing that stuff, really neat. And then they have another one I want to say that also basically reams out the barrels or puts it in so they can be reamed. As I mentioned, there's kind of that production line for those production guns. They also have a special room with basically their blue line and their R&D. So their blue line is essentially really high quality guns for certain customers, whether it's law enforcement agencies, stuff like that. And those are all made there in that room. In addition to that, it's kind of the R&D room. My boys, well, boy, Jada, my oldest son that was with me, super excited because of course they had some belt feds out there. Pretty cool getting to check out their stuff. One of the coolest things for me was actually getting to meet and talk with a couple of their engineers. Radical Firearms is doing some pretty cool stuff. They have a couple of these giant like metal 3D printing machines that can print in a couple different kinds of metal to include titanium and I want to say some crazy like chrome alloy like super heat resistant and they're using that to print cool stuff. They actually had printed part of like a mini gun which is definitely pretty cool but it was interesting going and looking at some of the cutouts and talking with the engineers too because one of the things they're doing is 3D printing suppressors and totally admitted he's like yeah like we were able to 3d print the suppressor and it came out basically like k baffles and then we're like okay like we need to reimagine this and from an engineering standpoint kind of being stuck in like okay well if i draw something that needs to be machined to then turn around and be like well i can kind of draw whatever i want and so figuring out really interesting ways to basically slow and cool that gas for use inside of a suppressor. And it was really cool seeing the cutaways of some of the designs that they're coming out with. And the other thing they're doing too is, I think for a military customer, basically a belt fed machine gun suppressor. And one, the materials used, like incredible space age stuff, and this really interesting design that like big picture basically pulls air and cools the thing so that if you like, run a belt through this thing like dump an entire belt within about like 10 minutes this thing will have shed about a thousand degrees going from like 1500 degrees to about 500 degrees which is amazing and yeah like it's all engineered into the design and they're able to print it with these amazing machines really incredible stuff and while they do have an exercise room on site which is probably cool for their employees 
my son, his favorite part was the game room. Basically left him there for a good like 15 minutes while we continued the tour without him, while he ended up playing pinball and Star Wars. We got to see where they were also expanding out. Basically, they, I think, initially started with like one little part of this giant like building and slowly just been breaking down walls. And finally, they bust out the wall to this like big CrossFit gym and they're going to move everything in or out into there, too, so that everything basically flows through so that it's not like a maze as far as guns moving from here to here. And then here and then finally back over and then shipping like all that stuff so it'll be just smooth pretty much streamlined and speaking of shipping also went over saw where all their stuff gets shipped out and all their stuff is test fired at least two rounds and then i want to say the blue line gets like 50 rounds like five magazines of 10 something like that but they basically have an indoor shooting range and so why not shoot some rounds got to put some rounds through with their 3d printed cans one being their 30 cal can the center i believe it's called and then also their other dedicated 556 can which is also coming out my buddy noah there shooting that one too Personally, I always find that stuff fascinating, watching things basically get built. Things coming in as an extrusion or forging, getting machined, ultimately getting assembled, test fired, shipped, all that. Oh, and speaking of that stuff too, Radical Firearms has their own anodizing place where they basically take all their stuff, go over, anodize it, bring it back, and continue with the assembly. Pretty cool, just kind of, yeah, that entire thing. And I also think it's neat that a couple of things. One, they're able to actually manufacture so much stuff in-house, actually machine it. But the thing that I think is really cool is seeing companies start to get into, yeah, like 3D printed, you name it, to include suppressors. Because there's only so much you can do with actual machining and then it gets too complicated. So by using like fluid dynamics or things that can basically map fluid dynamics and getting away from the constraints that you have, not that there aren't constraints with, I'm sure, 3D printing, metal, but you can get away from some of those design constraints and ultimately hopefully find things that will one, end up cooler and quieter and hopefully lighter too. But pretty neat look into Radical Firearms. You can check everything out. Down below will be a link over to their site. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Every day we pop it so hard.